What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just bought a new build and this build is not expensive or anything. Um, I just got a really good deal on it so I couldn't really pass the deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys right now. 2012 Honda Ridgeline. I guess you can call this a truck. Half truck, half SUV. Um... So I bought this truck from just a buddy I know. Um, he gave me all the parts with it. Some of the parts are aftermarket, but that's what he gave me. So that's what I'm going to work with. Um, basically, let's see where the damage is. Right here. Um, all this stuff is kind of bent. I will probably straighten most of this stuff out. And... Um, this is the other damage right here. This pillar and some of the roof should be a pretty easy fix. It's got 46,000 miles. Front bumpers in here, I have to take that out. Should be a run and drive. I hadn't tested it yet. There it is. Has a nice cover back here. This thing is not bad overall. Let's go ahead and try to get it started. All right, so I obviously had to connect the jump box to it. Nice. Starts right up. Let's see what kind of uh, kind of lights are over here. Check tire pressure and uh, check DRL system. That's because the headlight is not connected. Other than that, I don't see anything else. Let's go ahead and back it up in the shop. Lucy, what do you think about the, the new build I got, huh? It is on the cheaper end, but it's nice. It's still a build, isn't it? Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, kind of get some close-ups on everything um, before I end this video today. Um, basically, on this side right here, as you guys can see, this thing is a little bit shifted this way. And uh, let me show you guys right here. This this is the buckle right here. Basically, it's supposed to be straight. Looking by this side, it's supposed to be straight. So I'm pretty sure I can straighten most of this stuff out. And also the radiator support, I'm pretty sure I can straighten it out as well. So moving on to, of course, this fender is getting replaced. I have a new one um, over here. The A pillar is messed up. I mean, it looks like it's just the skin, nothing crazy. This door is getting replaced. I am actually looking for one right now. So as soon as I get most of these parts in, um, I should be able to get started working on this thing. Um, interior looks pretty clean. I'm not sure what is this, but... Uh, Overall, of course, it needs a little bit of cleaning done. Um, from what it looks like, the headliner is in pretty rough shape. It's sagging over here. Yeah, that's no good. I'm gonna have to take that off and get it replaced. I'll probably take it off before I install the front window because it is gonna be very tough to get the headliner out if the window is on here. Alright, so next, um, the back door, 
I'm not sure if you guys can see there's a little ding here a couple little things but uh, that door is gonna stay on there that's fixable all, all these little dings we'll just get them fixed um, the rear end of this truck looks really good I don't see any dings or anything like that there's a bunch of parts here oh wow I didn't know I had this I have that the windshield wipers all right that's good news this door is good the front door is good um, the back seat everything looks really nice back here here's the front bumper I'm gonna go ahead and take that out because I don't want the seats to get damaged or anything um, once again look at this headliner this thing is yeah I definitely need a new headliner or I'll probably just take it to a upholstery shop and I'm pretty sure that can be fixed um, this fender is good it has all this uh, it has all this stuff from the tape that was on here but that can be cleaned I'm not worried about that and once again like I mentioned earlier the roof does has a little damage right here uh, I will have to take that roof rack off and my plan my plan is let me show you guys what I'm planning to do of course this this pillar right here is gonna get replaced just the skin that's gonna be the easy part so I'm gonna take the roof rack off probably in the next video and then um, I don't want to replace the whole roof because it's a good bit of work and um, I will probably because if you look everywhere the roof is perfect except right here this corner so uh, my plan is probably cut it like this cut the roof like that and over here cut it sorry over here I'll cut it somewhere like that and just replace this this L shape right here and um, that could be bondoed and uh, basically you won't even tell that this roof was was cut or anything so yeah um, other than that this truck looks really good there's no airbags deployed airbag light is not on um, it's actually a pretty easy fix from what I see so yeah make sure you stay tuned for the next video on this truck and also I have another build the Mustang if you guys hadn't seen that make sure you check that out and I do have a Toyota Tundra that's getting rebuilt as well if you haven't seen that make sure you check that out as well this build is on the cheaper side but I am pretty excited about it because it is going to get rebuilded and it is going to go back on the road and that's what my goal is in this channel is to put cars back on the road all right guys so that's going to be it for this channel if you're new to the channel be sure you smash that subscribe button also like my videos and share them with your friends thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video